Medkov. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight is brought to you by Dodge, the official vehicle of the UFC. Kane is 30, Nedkov is 29. Louise Kane, who already has the striking advantage, will have a six inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Senoras y senores, bienvenidos! Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the HSBC Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, for UFC 134, presented by City of Rio. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record, 11 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Fighting out of Aliko, Chernovo, Bulgaria, Stanislav, Saki, Netcom. And now introducing the opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, only professional record, 12 wins, 3 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Luis Banya And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki. Our referee, the beautiful Shondella, Ariani, our entire crew, happy to be here for Everyone UFC on, Rio. Kane and go, Netkov, here we go! Tonight's clock brought to you by Shark Knight 3D in theaters everywhere, September 2nd. Louise Kane, the southpaw in the black trunks. The Bulgarian Netkov in the white trunks. And Kane looks very lean. He looks in very good shape for this fight. In fact, he said for his last fight against Marshall, he was in the best shape of his life, and he's only built from there. That's the way to do it. You don't want to take too much time off as a fighter. He's taking this seriously and uh, looked great. See how he performs against Nedkov, who's not the most technical striker, but he is very heavy-handed. And even when you're getting the advantage in the striking department against a guy like that, you always got to be ready, make sure your hands are up, because he is very awkward, but he is heavy-handed. Six-inch reach advantage for Kane, who can be a machine of destruction. He's going to have to use that against a guy who really wants to get on the inside, either to land a punch or to get into a grappling exchange like he did right there, and he did land a nice little short right hand. And he continues to push forward, does Nedkov. 11 and 0 in his MMA career. Good job, good job by Kane. He went backward. He went straight back in the beginning, but then circled off away from the fence. Did a very good job of getting away from the pressure of Nedkov. Now lands a nice inside leg kick. Nedkov said simply of his opponent, Louise Kane, he's a dangerous guy, but he will lose. Nedkov seems very confident. He's throwing that right hand a lot. And Kane's left hand is pretty low. He's going to have to be careful with that right hand, especially as a southpaw. That's kind of one of the weapons you have to be careful with. It's that left hook of the right-handed fighter and the straight right hand. There's that right counter again by Nedkov. Good kick a moment ago by Kane. Saturday, September 24th, Gears of War 3 presents UFC 135. Jones versus Rampage. As Johnny Bones Jones defends his light heavyweight title against Rampage Jackson. And Hall of Famer Matt Hughes faces Diego the Dream Sanchez. Live on pay-per-view, 9 in the East, 6 in the West. Coverage begins with prelims live on Spike in the U.S. Roger Sportsnet in Canada. Check your listings internationally. Ned Kopp is pretty much throwing one strike the whole fight. And uh, he's landed it a lot. It's that overhand right. You know, she's going against a taller fighter. He's going against a southpaw. That's kind of the shot to throw, but if Kane gets onto it, he can look to counter. But uh, so far, Ned Cost's been successful with it. There it is again. Nice counter. Oh, he's starting to tee off. 
Now the combinations are coming out. This is what Kane needs to do. Kane Land his combinations and get out. He's very, very technical in his striking. He's a lot of fun to watch. Because if you're at home, if you're a young fighter, you're looking at how to perfect your stand-up. This is a good guy to pattern yourself after, especially if you're a southpaw. Absolutely. This is a guy I like to watch. Um, he just has to be careful with his hands. They're just a little bit low, but man, when he throws those combinations, they are beautiful to watch. And uh, we're seeing another guy, a stable mate of his, Edson Barbosa, who uh, is cut from the same mold and very, very exciting striker to watch as well. Barbosa taking on Ross, the real deal Pearson tonight in Rio. Looking to set up that left hand again. He might look for a huge uppercut. I wouldn't mind seeing a left high kick from Luis Kane, especially, again, against a shorter opponent. Not a bad idea. I'm sure he's trying to find the range there, but if he can get him to circle to that side, just as he's doing, go high with that leg kick, the uh, fight could be over. Another overhand right from Nedkov. And he can set up that movement by continuously showing that jab, right, Kenny? Absolutely. We're going to see how Ned... Oh! Nice counter he hurt, he hurt Kane! He hurt him back! Nedkov looking to swarm Kane's Luis in trouble! Kane. Kane is in big trouble! Nedkov looking to finish! Kane trying to protect the himself, right and it's all he over! Stanislav Nedkov with the victory! This is, what, this is what I was talking about earlier, you know, a guy who's maybe not as skilled on the feet as Kane, but he possesses big-time power, and he just kept throwing that right hand until, until he dropped Kane, but Nedkov was in some serious trouble up, up until that point. Boom. The right hand followed by a left hook. He put that combination together right on the temple of Kane. And those are the kind of punches that aren't going to just put you to sleep, but it's going to rock your equilibrium. That's when the octagon starts to shift and you think you're in an earthquake. And that's exactly what Ned Koff brought to Kane. Kane was in trouble there. The left hook off the temple. As you take a look at our Bud Light replay, Bud Light, here we go. The beginning of the end is Stanislav Nedkov wins his UFC debut and remains unbeaten in his mixed martial arts career. Take a look at it again, Kenny, and you see the second hook really do the damage to the equilibrium of Luis Vanya Kane. Here's the big overhand right, and then the left hook right there. Kind of gets your ear a little bit, your inner ear, and that's you can see his balance is all messed up. He's trying to get back into the fight, but very difficult to do so. Once your equilibrium is gone, it's really hard. You gotta either lock up with him or run away, and he wasn't able to do that against Nedkov. Nedkov the victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Stanislav Saki Netkov. Netkov with the win.